Hi Virgo, welcome to your week ahead Tarascope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your support. It truly means the world. With that said, um, I have another announcement for you. I have created a spread called the Moneymaker Spread. Whether you are a complete novice with tarot, whether you are an advanced practitioner, if you are a coach, a healer, or a therapist in some way, shape, or form, and you use tarot, this spread can and will help you. And it will be something that you have that you can use time and time again. There is a link in the description box below for you to get yours today. And uh, I will be releasing a different product every week for the next eight weeks. So stay tuned for what they are. With that said, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what the week ahead has in store for you. Virgo, what are you removing, releasing, or letting go of from your life path this week? And this week you get, you get the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, right? So basically what you're letting go of is this idea that you have so far to go. Um, and this is really interesting because the Knight of Pentacles is about movement, right? And when I see this, it really does suggest for me that you, it's kind of like you're not going to things anymore. You're gonna allow them to come to you. You're letting go of this idea that you need to be all things or rather in all places at all times it really feels for me like this week you are simplifying things and you're saying you know what i'm going to stay put and i'm going to let opportunities and people and especially people that want or need my work my expertise or my information they can come to me i really like this because it means that you're standing more in your power and you're even more grounded than you usually are brilliant so what are you working on now what is at the heart or the meat of the matter this week and this week you get the Nine of Swords. So it's not a great card, guys. You know me by now, I don't bullshit you, I just tell you how it is. The Nine of Swords suggests that you need to stop worrying. So once you get this idea in your mind that look, you know what, if you want me, if you want my expertise, if you want my information or what it is that I can offer, you're going to have to come to me. You then need to actually send that vibration out and get out of your mind. Stop worrying about whether people are gonna come or not. Um, and a really good example of this is, you know the field of dreams thing uh, when the little girl says to him people will come so it's kind of like build it and people will come well you've already done the work we've seen that in all of your previous readings Virgo you've put in the work you've put in the energy now that you're standing in that power and saying you know what I'm not going to take this to people when they want it they can come and get it here is where it's at then what you need to do is trust that what you have built is worth and valuable for all of the things that people want and need you trust me put it out there put the you know throw your net or whatever it is that you throw out into the world and trust that people will come trust that everything that you need will come for some select few of you um if you are driving i'm kind of picking up that you're driving long distances if you can stop through the night then do uh, this is not a week for you to drive through the night. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just that's what I'm picking up because it kind of feels like it's going to wear you out and you won't be at your best when you get to your destination. So if you, those of you that are driving very long distances, uh, when you get to say 11, 12 o'clock, stop at a motel if it's feasible. If it's not, share the driving responsibility providing you've got another driver in the car. Um, take rest you know any of you that are driving long distances you must must take rest that's going to be really important this week and then finally what are you welcoming in what is the energy that is trying to break into your life the full card new things new places new people um virgo you need to trust that you have it's like i get the power <laughs> you need to trust that you have the goods People are coming to you. People are approaching you this week. That's how it's gonna happen. Even those of you that are traveling, like it really feels like you don't have to blurt it out. And whatever, even for those of you that are presenting, don't give them everything all at once. You need to give just enough so that they're curious enough to want the rest of the package. Um, and that's what it feels like for me. With this card of what you're welcoming in, this is about a new paradigm. 
Virgo, this is about you not being all things to all people and now starting to own yourself and stand and sit in your power more than ever before. Let me know how this shapes up for you in the comments. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have an amazing week and I'll see you very soon for more videos. Take care.